What's going on guys, it's Nico YGO here. On today's video, we're going to be opening Konami, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s most recent release, two booster boxes of the Maze of Memories. We're chasing collector's rares. But first, we're gonna do a giveaway, like always. All you gotta do is like, comment, and uh, be subscribed to the channel, and I'll send a lucky winner a, a pack of Darkwing Blast. You know what you can pull in there. There's some good Kishtira support, that type of thing. So just like, comment, and be subscribed. That's all you gotta do. With no further ado, Let's get to the opening. Before we get to the actual pack opening, I did actually just go to Target and picked up the new Dark Magician Girl playmat, some sleeves, and the binder. And not gonna lie, I'm really impressed with the quality of this, this product. I've never been a huge fan of Konami's playmats. They're decent, just but I, I guess the monsters they've chosen I've never been that happy with. As you know, I'm a huge Magician fan, but this mat is is really, really well done. I like the, the two sides of black with still different renditions of Dark Magician Girl. And then you got the, the centerpiece, which has like a, a real like metallic-y kind of glittery shine to it, which is really nice. You got the sleeves here, which is the exact same thing. Again, you know, the quality of these sleeves aren't all that good. They're kind of just janky, but the, the design on these are really cool. I'll save those for, I don't know, I might put my extra deck in those. And then, I mean, the, the binder itself is is flawless. I've, for, I think the binder was 10 bucks. So let me rip it open real quick. All right, so there it is. Same type of design, but just really, really cool. Good metallic gleam on the front. And then believe it or not, they actually went pretty dope on the backside too. I'm, that is just really well done, says Dark Magician Girl. And the, the grip, the, whatever, the text, get a little wrapping paper. And then these sleeves are, these pages are always really nice. They let you put a sleeve on the card and fit it in there. Uh, I've, I've honestly liked all of these. This is another one I have, IP Mascarena, and a sweet back on it. For, for the price, really, really worth the value. So I'm excited for that one. This is just, it's really, really cool. So if you like it, it's affordable, go pick them up. Let's get to the opening. All right, boxes are open, packs are ready to be ripped. We're gonna start with the right booster box. This time I'm gonna clear them all out. So as you guys know, these type of sets, we are looking for collectors, rares. They're worth a lot of money. There's some cool support to Gate Guardian, right? Kaizajin, Suijin, all those cards. There is a Collector's Rare Gate Guardian, but to be honest, I think what I'm looking for the most is Collector's Rare Baron de Fleur. I like to call him Baron de Fleur. I would like that, and also I think one of my favorite cards is Guardian Chimera. I mean, that's one of my favorite cards, period. Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. These are really cool cards, the, the Gate Guardian support. The, you know, they're given, so just Sui Jin and Sangha the Thunder, so just a couple card combos for those. Not gonna change the meta by any means, but definitely we'll try the card trick. I'll probably fail. Three. Mac Knight Gate Guardian. It's just an awesome looking card. Red Eyes. PSI, oh, we gotta do four then for the card trick. PSI Beast, not worth squat and cost down. But yeah, it's not gonna break the meta by any means, but sweet to build the deck around all the Gate Guardian support. You know playable in locals or if you're just playing for fun. So we gotta do one, two, three, four. And that way. Let me know in the comments what cards you're most excited for, Sujin. Alzil, the Sylvan High Protector. Not worth a dang. Yeah, I would be absolutely ecstatic if I could get a Collector's or a Guardian Chimera. Going for like 70 bucks. Baron de Flor is 195. I would be okay with just this, uh, Ultra or Super Guardian Chimera, which is like 10 bucks, but I had to get faster at the card trick. Super Soldier, Evolution and Burst. But so far the products these years have been, or this year has been really good. I've, I've been really happy with it. I, I'm so excited for April, uh, the release of it. We're just gonna plow with the Gate Guardians combined again. I'm so excited for the re-release of the Legendary Collection. I think it's April 21st, they're releasing the Legendary Collection box, which will have a pack of, uh, what will it have? It'll have a pack of 
Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, F Pharaoh's Servant, and Invasion of Chaos in it. And then Song of the Thunder. Wait, did we pass it? Oh, Solemn Judgment. Staple card. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, Invasion of Chaos. And then one Ultra Alvis Tormentor, Ultra Rex Lifer, Wing Dragon and Raw, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and one Quarter Century Secret Rare version of one of those six cards, which is pretty sweet. Quality control is meh on these so far. Okay, it's the third hollow in there. I guess it depends if it's the super ultra or whatever. Keep powering through. Not the best start thus far. If we're looking at absolute, just straight value outside of collector's rares, the, the ultra rare start at the Excel Synchro Stardust Dragons, 18 bucks. Guardian Chimera is 10. Black Luster Soldier is 10. Solemn Judgment 3. So really we want one of those collectors. We're a Gate Guardian, Burial from the Deep, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Baron de Flua! Let's go! It is not a collector's rare by any means, but we will take that. Um, yeah, that's the ultra rare. That's 42 bucks. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. We're going to get that in the sleeve right away. Basically, that is the best ultra rare you can pull in the set. Nothing else in there. Oh, yes. Very good. We're we're hot. The rest of these uh, rest of these packs are damn near bonus. This is an ultra rare that's worth more than a fair chunk of collector's rare. It's worth more than Firewall Dragon, number 39, Utopia, Photon, Orbital, Dual Academy, Collector. Yeah, that's a great, great pull. Can we beat it? Can we pull a Baron collector's rare? Guardian Chimera collector's rare? That's good. I mean, for the Ultra, right? That's just our Ultra. I'm not sure what the pull rate is on the Collector's Rares, but it's all right. This creepy little punk, Red Eyes, Spellbook of Fate. Pretty good card. If you control Spellcaster Monster, you can banish up to three Spellbook cards from your graveyard, apply this effect. Depending on the number of spells you banish, return one spell or trap from the field to hand, change one monster on the field to face down defense deficient. Or face up attack, banish one card your opponent controls. Solid. Very, very solid card. Man, I am I'm so that is awesome. What a good start. Past couple openings have been a little shaky, and then we've absolutely blown the roof off of them. So Sui Jin. Sweet to have those as commons. Ryuoku. Number 39, Utopia Rising. Utopias are absolute staple XYZs. About a quarter of the way through this opening. <laughs> I'm so pumped we got Baron. It's going to be a hard one to sell because that card is an absolute unit. Overlay Network. Yeah, some scratches on that too. Quality Control. Sangha the Thunder. All right. 12th pack. We already got one. Of the, we got the most valuable ultra rare. Overlord Fusion. Treacherous Trap Hole. Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. Man, if you guys need any of those, hit me up. I'll probably send you one. Have a feeling we're going to pull. Now we chunk it up. <laughs> but yeah, and then come July, we're going to have the actual re-release of all those legendary... There's a collector's rare in there. We are hot, people. Mech Knight, Yellow Star. Super Soldier Brute Ritual. I'm slowing it down. Cost down Whew. take a deep breath i think it may be next what's it gonna be we got gate guardian oh boy black wing oh i thought it was that one Whew. might be this one yes it is it's it's a magic card what's it gonna be on your mark get set duel collector's rare i was gonna rhyme and say cool but eh, cheesy collector's rare let's go on your market, set duel. That's going for 40 bucks on average. Awesome, awesome card. Wow. One booster box in, and we have pulled Baron de Fleur, the, the most valuable ultra rare, and we've already pulled a collector's rare. Holy smokes, guys. So far, tough to beat this opening. We got a bunch more. Again, this bonus at this point. We've exceeded the worth of the booster box itself. I don't know if it's possible to pull another collector's rare, but I'm, I'm more than open to it. Gate Guardian, Solemn Judgment, Burial from a Different Dimension. 
Angel Blue. I mean, I passed it already. Oh, Solemn Judgment. All right. Another $3, like, super rare. Epic. Let's go. I know everyone's really been wanting to pull the, the Gate Guardian collectors, right? I think just in terms of the card that it actually is. not there it is again. You guys need one, let me know. <laughs> Send it your way. I think it's just like the nostalgia. And obviously, that card is, is sick, but man, I would love Guardian Chimera. Oh, one second. Yeah, I would love a Guardian Chimera, just anything. I have a Guardian Chimera from the Battle of Chaos, which I unfortunately accidentally pulled off camera. Labyrinth Wall, Black Swing, Firewall Dragon, Dark Fluid. That's not a bad looking card. But pull a Guardian Chimera in here. Maybe I can sell that one. I don't know. Pretty sweet secret rare. Tough to part ways with those. Super Soldier Ritual, Imperial Iron Wall. Spellbook of Fate again. All right, all right. Sometimes these collector packs don't have a lot in terms of like things you'd actually play, which I guess this one doesn't really have. But, you know, Baron being in there. Time to stand up. <laughs> this creepy little punk. Evolution End Burst. <laughs> Another super rare. I think we have another ultra coming up. Am I right? We should. I'm guessing there's, I think there's, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe the collector's rare replaces the, the ultra. But we're making good pace. Kaizajin. Red Eyes Soul. That's a sweet card. It'd be cool hollow. On your market set duel. Just the common version. Not common, but you know what I mean. The non collector rare edition. Have you guys opened up any packs of these? Let me know if you have. Let me know what you've pulled. Super Ancient Deep Sea King Colican. That's a sweet looking card. Those are the deep, deep beasts of the ocean. Man, just crazy. Making good time. 10 minutes in. Sui Jin, this creepy little punk overlay network. 10 minutes in. Just on these packs, we had a little bit of little bit of fluff at the start of the video for the giveaways. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be entered in the giveaways. That's all you got to do. And then we kind of prepped with or preluded with Labyrinth Heavy Tank. We preluded with this beautiful Dark Magician mat that I'm opening on, which is a really good product from Konami. Same with their their binders, at least for price. <laughs> watch the channel you've seen i've opened plenty of walmart products in those mystery boxes which are like triple they're not good value gay guardian of the thunder and wind they're really pushing that card labyrinth wall just so retro last pack of the first booster box maze of memories it's been electric so far let's do something crazy two collectors rares is it possible imperial iron wall Ryoku Guardian, Saga of the Dragon Emperor, Mudan the Rick of Fairy, Duel Academy, Ultra Rare. Okay, so we still got two Ultra Rares. Not seeing it on the top of these. Oof, must be a pretty, pretty weak Ultra Rare, but whew. Let me see what that one's worth. Uh, oof, Duel Academy. Not even seeing it on this. Oh, well. Oh, Dual Academy Ultra Rare, $1. Not good. But first box, quick little recap. You all know where the big hitters are, but two solemn judgments in there. Good cards needed for some decks, or side decks, that type of thing. But really, boy, one booster box in. We got Baron Ultra Rare. Just impe impeccable card in really good shape. PSA grade it? If you haven't seen it, I did my first PSA grading, Illusion to Chaos. Check out that video in the shorts. On your mark, get set, dual, collector's rare. I'm not one to get greedy. The fact we even got a collector's rare is cool. Uh, so far in these collector packs, though, I have not really pulled any of the, the big, big hitter collector's rares, which obviously are really hard. Plus, I shouldn't complain. I did pull a Starlight Ghost Bell not too long ago. So, all right, guys. 
second booster box. Reset, reset the clock, reset the, the money counter. We're back at zero. No ultra rares, no collector's rares. Overlord Fusion, Prey of the Jiragumo. Psy Beast, okay. PSI Beast. What to do with all these commons? I would honestly give them away to people, but it's more expensive to ship a bulk common. Holy moly. I threw two cards in the garbage pile. Good thing they weren't like something valuable. Treacherous Trap Hole. Photon Orbital. Labyrinth. Heavy Tank. Okay. All right. Now this box is a little bit more on, on path with how we typically go. We start off slow, then we pull something to just... Just break the internet. Super Soldier Ritual, Imperial Iron Wall, Spell Book of Fate. All right, there's our play set. We're going to hold on to those. Appreciate all you guys who've been watching the videos. We've been going strong for a little bit over a year, year and a half. As far as regular videos, uh, every time there's a release, we've been going for almost a year now. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see me do more of or... Any ideas you have, and if there's anything I can do to make the videos better, let me know as well. I'm in the process of figuring out like a face cam, because let's be honest, that would be pretty fun. Got to see my face when we pull all these crazy pulls. The giveaways will get bigger as we continue to grow, that type of thing. I'll, I would like to be able to give away an entire booster box, but that's just not in the cards right now. Overlay Network. The couple giveaways I have done are, are continue to be booster packs, just like at the start of this video. I've had to <laughs> send a couple overseas with just the person I happened to draw. And you know I'm there for you guys. I will send it overseas if that's the case. Real slow. Very, very slow start. Come on. Can we get two collector's rares? That would just be bananas. A guardian of wind and water. All right. That's an ultra. That's one of the ultras. Nope. Super. Right? Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's super. Never mind. Getting confused. Getting shaken up. The maze of memories. Prey of the Jirai Gumo. Treacherous Trap Hole. Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Angel Blue Tears. Ooh, there's our ultra. Black Luster Soldier, Legendary Swordsman. That's a good pull. That's one of those that we mentioned. If we're going to get it, it would not be bad. $10 there. We'll sleeve that up. That's sleeve worthy. Very nice looking card. This one's actually in pretty good shape. I'm not seeing any dings or anything like that. So, all right. That's our third card worth a, a good chunk of value. Not bad for the Ultra. Let's see if we can get... Man. Guardian Chimera. That's really what I want right now. Ultra Rare or the Collector's Rare. I, I love that card. I think it's just badass. Super Soldier Ritual. Kaiser Jin. Number 39, Utopia Rising. We've got it. Almost 75% of the way done. Any Collector's Rare, though, I, I should say, would be lit. Uh, two Collector's Rare per uh, two boxes would be nuts. On your market set duel. I, <laughs> Personally, I hate card names that are like that. I just I don't know how else to describe it. Ready, set, go. <laughs> One, two, three. Mech Knight, Yellow Star, Photon Orbital, Solemn Judgment. All right, I think that's a play set. That might even be one pass the play set. Not bad. If you're buying these packs and you're reselling cards, Solemn Judgment, not Oops, almost took one off the top. We gotta finish this side. Not bad value. Not bad value at all. Alright, I'm gonna scroll back up. A Guardian. Alright. Red Eyes, Soul E Soul, Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avermax, awesome card. That's one of the emblems or whatever in Master Duel. It looks pretty sweet. Just make sure. I'm getting too fast. All right, the last 12 packs. Isn't that beautiful? Ripping packs. 
So far, so good with the new Dark Magician playmat. I mean, regardless of what happens, it was a successful opening. The Ryoku Guardian, all side, the Sylvan, Higher Protector. Ancient Fairy Dragon, Chaos Form, Labyrinth, Wall Shadow, Battle Royale Mode. Yeah, the, the, the thing about these packs that is, you know, kind of risky is if you don't get a Collector's Rare, you only get, you know, Ultras. There's no secret rares in these, which... You know, if you're open in booster boxes, traditionally, you're going to get two secret rares per booster box. Labyrinth, heavy tank. So, can, it can be hit or miss sometimes. You know, pretty good looking packs. A lot going on. 25th edition is cool. Pretty epic year for you. Yeah. I think they've been doing a good job with their products. This creepy little punk treacherous trap pole gate guardian of wind and water. Again. As far as the meta goes, I used to kind of be with the meta, but, it, you know, working, having to work and everything, it, it's a lot to keep up with and how fast it moves, but I know the meta, regardless of what's released, is always just absurd. One turn, one turn wins, OTKs, that type of stuff. Dan, the Rika Fairy. Teardrop, the Rika Queen. I thought I saw an Ultra Rare in there, that's why I kind of slowed down when I was talking. The heart almost stopped. But I know what cards are involved in the meta, and I hope to pull them because then I can ship them off to you guys for a decent price. PSI Beast. Oof. This has been a pretty rough opening, I'm not going to lie, aside for Black Lusta Soldier. Come on. Finish strong. Come on. Give me another Baron. Give me a Baron. Collector's Rare. Give me a Guardian Chimera. I would lose it. Prey of the Jiragumo. Overlord Fusion. Mac Knight Crusadia A for Max. That was a horrible rip. As you guys, you know me, I'm always peeking on the side. It doesn't look like there's one in there. Red Eyes Soul. Kaizajin. Evolution and Burst. <whistles> Labyrinth Wall. We got plenty of those. All right. Whew. Five packs left. Can we do it? Let me know in the comments what you think is left in these packs. Is there something crazy? I have a feeling there is. Treacherous Trap Hole, Suijin, Alsai, the Sylvan High Protector. Not so far. Four packs left. Woo. Gate Guardian. You'd like one of those in a different rarity. Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. God, if you guys need those, hit me up. I think I can supply a whole tournament worth. Really pitching those cards. Double play set. Ryoku Guardian. Dum, 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 dum. Imperial Iron Wall. Gate Guardians combined. All right, there it is. I think we've pulled that already. All the support, but that's a really cool card. I think that's Sangha, Thunder, Kaizajin, and Suijin. Oh, pretty sweet. We'll take it. The last... Two packs. Let's see if there's anything else I really, really want in here. <sighs> no. Second to last pack. There's that Black Luster Soldier cover guy. Boom, boom, boom. Baron. Still can't believe we pulled Baron, the ultra rare. 40 bucks. <sighs> All right. Mech Knight Yellow Star. Super Soldier Ritual. Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. Man. I think we still got an ultra left. I'm not sure. Maybe we did pull our two ultras already. Did we pull? No, this was in the first box still. I think we got an ultra left. Otherwise, we pulled one that just was garbage. Boom, 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 boom. The final pack. 48 packs ripped at a pace of 21 minutes just for this. That's good. That's two packs of... That's two packs a minute. Solid. Taking this one slow, guys. Photon Orbital. Gate Guardian. Burial from a different dimension. I think this is our Ultra. Nope. Angel Blue Tears. A Cell Synchro Stardust Dragon. Okay. That's our Ultra Rare. And that one is a solid 15 bucks. Whew. That's a huge last pull. As far as just completing our box. Really, really good. Because you know, we must have pulled another one in there somewhere. But anyways, this summary. 
Black Luster Soldier, Legendary Swordsman, Ultra Rare, going for about 10 bucks. Baron de Fleur, Baron de Fleur, Baron de Fleur, 40 bucks. On your market set duel, 30, 40 bucks. Collector's Rare, you see those markings, the kind of the whole card's ingrained. And then Excel, Synchro, Stardust, Dragon, Ultra Rare. Let's take a look back through. I think we must have missed an Ultra Rare somewhere in here. Yeah, right there. Teardrop, the Rika Queen. There's our other Ultra. I think that's the only other one that should be in there. Just, nope, Dual Academy, Ultra. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you're still... Well, then, is that it? No. Oh. I don't even know how many ultras you're supposed to get, what the pull rate then is. Pretty cool cards though. So we got six, five. Oh, six, six ultras, including those. So maybe that's how many you're supposed to get. Sorry if I'm completely wrong on that, but uh, what an opening. Thanks again to you guys to coming through. I'm doing the, uh, I do do pack of days. I haven't been quite doing them daily, uh, but frequently I just kind of open up packs on the YouTube shorts. So make sure you subscribe just to take a look into those. Idea behind those is really just that randomness. You know, if you're bulk opening, you're gonna pull something good eventually. Uh, however, you know, you're doing just a single pack a day. There's a lot more suspense. You kind of expect to just get garbage. One of these days we're going to pull a starlight, something like that. So again, just stick by the channel. I appreciate all the support. I'm looking forward to these, the rest of the year's openings and products and, and getting after it. Thanks guys.